here we are, Big 12 Football Media Days. What yeah. is this like? It's fantastic. And, you know, I was at UNLV, and so it's amazing to be back here at Allegiant Stadium. And I was wonderful. We got off the plane with our student athletes, and um, we have some really special young people. I'll tell you a quick anecdote. Uh, we get off the plane, and our plane's delayed. It's been a long afternoon, long, long evening. And Noah, T-Mac, Nuku, and Gunner, they all went and they, they went and took out the luggage and carried everybody's luggage onto the bus. And I thought, you know what, this is a really special group of young people. So be, to be here today, we've got seven Saturdays until football season starts, so we're really excited. And the Big 12 Conference, I mean, this is a new venture for all of us out here. Yeah. What's it like? Isn't it exciting? It is. I love it. We're expanding. Arizona's a national brand, and we're expanding that reach, and we're going into Dallas market, we're going into Texas, so I'm really excited. Arizona deserves to be here, and this is an exciting time. We heard the commissioner say yesterday that they got better in basketball. Yeah. They got better in football. They Absolutely. Got better in Olympic sports. Absolutely. Of the four corner schools. Oh, we're really proud. The University of Arizona is a proud institution, and uh, to be able to go into the Big 12 and be on this national stage, and while we appreciate um, our former conference in the Pac-12, this is uh, this is a great opportunity for us. And to make the transition with Coach Brennan simultaneously, how has that been like to have him in tandem to work with? He's exactly the coach that we need at exactly the right point in time. So I'm very excited about Coach Brennan leadership and how and the trajectory we've got a lot of great momentum when you look at the University of Arizona when you look from coach Brennan's hiring through this keeping our incredible core of student athletes the momentum we had in the spring and you know what that momentum is translating into ticket sales it's translating into enthusiasm I think we're at the highest clip of ticket sales we've been at since 2018 so I'm really excited the future is great and what does it say about just the establishment of the athletic program to keep those key players in the NIL and transfer portal landscape? Yeah. It, it talks about how much they care. You know, I talked to Noah when I first got here, and I went and I talked to the student athlete football team, and it was about 6 o'clock in the morning, and I, I asked Noah in front of the whole team, I said, Noah, you had plenty of opportunities. Why did you stay? And I said, I'm coming from the University of Missouri, and you know, I chose to come back home. I said, tell me why you stayed. And he's like, it's exactly that. I stayed because this is home. I stayed because I love Tucson, and I love the people. And that's what it's about. It's about love. Logistically, have there been some hurdles to get through getting into the Big 12 and handling all of the travel and all the things you have to deal with? Uh, we're still we're still working through that. <laughs> we haven't made a road trip yet. Uh, but you know what? Those are just opportunities for us, too. So we're looking forward to kind of building some new rivalries. I haven't been to a football game at Texas Tech. I haven't been to a football game. And it's been a while since I've been to some of the Big 12 schools. But this is uh, it's a great opportunity for us. You know the fan engagement, too, in the Big 12. Obviously, you've been in the SEC. You yeah. know what that's like. What do you think will happen here when these guys get into those other venues and see the engagement of the fans? That's a passionate fan base. I love that. I was telling, we were, we did a caravan, and we uh, were talking to some of our fans, and we're, say, and we're telling them about the fans in the Big 12. And I said, they're passionate. Like, this really matters. This is exciting. So we cannot wait to introduce our great fans in Tucson to the fans of the Big 12. You mentioned that move that you made from, yeah. from Missouri. I think it shocked a lot of people on the outside world. You could leave an SEC place to go home. What else were, were factors in that decision? It was all about love. It was about people. The University of Arizona, I went to law school at, at U of A. Um, I remember that 1997 national championship. Uh, I remember where I was when, when we won. And I remember being on the, the, walking down the streets and feeling that energy. And uh, it, was, it was so exciting. And the opportunity to come home was exactly that, a great opportunity. People with, you know, reporting here and there about the Board of Curators at Missouri is an interesting group. Um, did, did you have any issues at all with the way they were going about their business? You know, I just love the University of Arizona. The University of Arizona was there when I needed them. You know, on September 10th of 1994, I had a younger, my younger brother, um, he was playing football for Chabot Junior College in California, in Hayward, California. And uh, it was my first year in law school, and he broke his neck playing football and became a quadriplegic. Um, it was a really remarkably challenging time for our family, and the University of Arizona was there for me when I really needed them. And uh, Dean Willie Jordan Curtis, she came to my press conference, and I remember I looked over at her, and you were there, and I, uh, I, 
it took me a moment. I had to kind of compose myself because it took me back to that special place when U of A was there for me. And, and now I think I'm bringing my skill set to a place that when Dr. Robbins, when he uh, recruited me into the role, he said, your alma mater needs you. And so that's why I came back. What's it like to come into a situation where you have a solid football team, a solid men's basketball team, women's basketball team? Baseball, softball, we're not just solid, man. <laughs> like, we're top 20 now. We're crushing it. And men's basketball, I think we're top 10. And so this is a, this is a great time. And I remember back in the day in 97 when Coach Candrea was winning national championships and Coach Olson, believe it or not, I was actually a little bit like you. I was an intern for KTUC and I would go and interview Coach Olson and well, I would talk to him about Wildcat basketball. and. And so I have loved the University of Arizona for a really long time, and it's exciting to be here. Could yeah. you give us one word to describe your tenure, what fans can expect in, under your athletic direction? Ooh, great question. Energy. Love it. Yeah. There was a Thank tweet you. that came out about a month ago or so that said that you moved your office from McHale to the Student Athletic Center or to the Academic Center. Yes. Is that true? And if so, what drove you to make that decision? It is true, and it was really um, two reasons. One, totally selfishly, I love being around students. Their energy is just something you can feel, and I, um, I just love being around them. Yesterday, we were on, we were on the plane with, with our football players, and it was probably the highlight of, of my month, just being able to see their energy. And, uh, and you know, I, I learned that um, Nuku is a world-class, uh, Let's say he loves to. Play. We played a game called Ish, which was super fun, uh, and then, yeah, and pickleball. He's apparently world-class pickleball player. But um, I, uh, I really wanted to be around student athletes, and then also, quite frankly, when people go and visit the athletic director's office, I wanted them to have to walk through our student athletes as a reminder. This is the reason why we do what we do. Yes, there are challenges in college athletics but we can't forget the educational mission and we have a privilege of impacting 508 young people's lives and that's a responsibility we take seriously so thank you